Exactly. Where do I even start? I don't think you want me to go that far back. As long as that story is, you'd all be asleep. And trust me, you wouldn't be asleep. All right, but if you fall asleep, don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. I was born to a very prominent noble family. We weren't the richest or the most powerful. But we made do with what we had. I was taught from an early age to treat everyone with the respect they deserve. Over the years, as I grew older, I started realizing that I couldn't treat everyone with the respect they deserve, for some people did not have the respect enough to even show it to others. My family referred to these people as broken dolls because their sense of respect and worth was broken a long time ago we didn't treat them any different we still treated them like people. It's just that they did not show any respect to us. We did not... Uh, allow me to restart from where I was. As I grew older, I learned that I could not treat everyone in the world with the same respect that they deserved because some people did not have the decency to show respect to others. My family referred to these people as simply as broken dolls. We did not treat them as anything less than people. We just could not show them respect because we knew they would not show respect back to us.
I was also taught to use many different types of magic and physical weapons. Even simple magic is still good magic. You would think, but really the strongest kind of magic is the magic born from having to protect someone close to you. The strongest magic you could ever hope for is the magic born from having someone close to you that you must protect. For no other type of magic can best that type. I have to say my most intense battle was the battle against my wife. <laughs> you see, years ago, before she and I even became husband and wife, we were hired by two very powerful corporations that wanted to control all the magic in the world. I was hired by the corporation known as Genesee. My wife was hired by the Phoenix Corporation. These two corporations hated each other with a passion. So they send their two top assassins to kill each other. Ironically, me and my future wife. For four years, we fought each other to the point of nearly dying. For those four years, we pretty much hated each other too. But over time, that hatred went away and was replaced with something else. Yes, four whole years non-stop. I'm getting to that. A good story can't be rushed. Otherwise, you lose sight of the most important fact. As we finally